We do these things because we have met the risen Savior. You don't have to use these words. It sounds kind of boring. But because we have met the risen Savior, and he has transformed us. We talked at Pentecost also a couple weeks ago about speaking the language of the people. At Pentecost, we, we heard the, that, that the gospel was expressed in the way that those people from all those different parts of the world gathered there for Pentecost, heard in their own language, in their own language, the gospel message of Jesus Christ. So as we're explaining to people why it is we do what we do, we speak their language. We don't need to use churchy language. But we make sure they understand it's because of our relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And that is what brings glory to God. How many of those spiritual healers that you might see on TV or they go on road tours, filling auditoriums and, 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 and uh, concert halls and convention centers uh, that, that uh, get carried away and moan and groan and do all kinds of uh, things that draw attention to them as if it's they who are doing the healing and not God. That if God had not, if they had not been there, people could not be healed because there's something special about them. Instead of bringing light and glory to God, they tend to bring fame and glory to themselves. We are called to hum the humble service of our master and to bring glory to God in all that we do. If you are a part of this church, if you belong to this church or have been attending regularly this church, you have been a part of such miracles that have transformed the lives of people in this community. I've pastored the other churches, and I've talked to other pastors who are pastoring other churches, and there is a great frustration among pastors in churches who refuse to spend what they call their money, instead of God's money, on outreach. This is not one of those churches. This is not one of those churches. This church reaches out to our community and makes a difference in the lives of those who are hurting. The money that you give to God on Sunday morning in this church has touched many lives. God has used you to help those who have been broken. God has used you to put roofs over heads of those who would have to be out on the street. To put food on the table of those who have, would have been hungry and could not feed their children. To provide heat and electricity to those who have none. To provide transportation to be able to get to work or to go on job interviews when they would not have been able to do either. This year already alone, we have spent over $9,000 for this kind of outreach in the local community. Not counting what we do for world issues. Why? Why do we spend money like that? Why do we throw our money away? As some people in other churches might say. Because you are the body of Christ. And that gut-wrenching compassion for the lost and the broken <coughs> causes us to act in his name. To work life-changing miracles in the lives of others. I want to thank you for the privilege, and I truly mean this. See, I don't make a cry. For being your pastor. <coughs> Uh, you've restored my faith in the church. I left the local church, the, my last local church, very disappointed with what I saw to be the witness of Christianity. I went into the 9-11 world for three years, and my faith slowly began to be restored as I saw what the church and church is, Salvation Army, Jewish Family Services, not obviously one of our Christian churches, but other faith-based organizations as well as the United Methodist Church and the community, I began to be restored, but not until I came here and witnessed and felt your love for us and for the community have I fully been restored to faith in the body of Christ in the world. And even better than that, 